My name is Steve Jordan. Um, a little bit about me. I am the owner of Barber's Dream Co. Uh, I am the creator and founder of Barber's Dream Co. The brand. I am the creator and co-owner of Barber's Dream Co. Hair care products. I'm the co-founder and president of Circle of Success Foundation. And I'm the owner and founder of Trending Topic Clothing. I also am an assistant basketball coach at Sacramento City College for the men's basketball team. Um, so I do a lot. I know it sounds like a lot, but it doesn't really feel like a lot to me because it's all things that I love. It's all things that I'm passionate about. And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. The name of this session is called Passion Over Paychecks. And what I want to talk to you guys about is how chasing something that you love or that you're passionate about can equate to the paycheck that you're looking for, as opposed to just chasing the paycheck and hoping um, that you enjoy the work that you do. All right. So when we talk about passion over paychecks, the first part is the the part that's most important is the passion part. You guys are in high school, so you guys have a blank canvas. At this point, you guys can be anything you want to be. There's nothing in the world that you can't do or that you can't be if you're passionate enough about it, right? So you find your passion, identify something you're passionate about. It could be reading, it could be writing, it could be mathematics, it could be public speaking, it could be sports, it could be PE, it could be debate, it could be peer counseling. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, you guys need to identify that. Once you identify that passion, then you need to take the necessary steps to, to start to gear yourself towards that passion. Right. So you, you want to be the president. You want to be the president. You got to be really good at a lot of things to be the president. So in school, you need to practice your relationships. You need to practice your leadership. You need to practice your public speaking. You need to work on those things intentionally because that's something that you're passionate about. So now you're intentional. If you're passionate about becoming the president and you understand that this is what it's going to take, you're going to be intentional about your everyday actions, understanding that. In order for me to work in my passion and to turn my passion into a paycheck, I need to be intentional about the things that I do in that realm. You got to really, really focus on the fact that we live in a world where a lot of people chase dollar amounts. A lot of people say, I want to be a lawyer because they make $250,000 a year and that's what I want. I want that for my family. I want to be able to buy a big house, nice car, whatever the case may be. I want to be a doctor because because they make this or I want this profession because of this or because of that. Now, let me explain to you guys why chasing the paycheck instead of chasing the passion isn't it doesn't work. I want to I want to make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. And, and there's a, a list of professions that can get me to that two hundred fifty thousand dollar a year mark. Right. So if my money is, is the money is the motivator, I could end up doing one of eight things that could get me two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year and I could end up hating them every day because I'm not working in my passion. I'm not doing anything that I care about, that I hold value in. I'm really just doing something just to be doing it because I wanna get the outcome or I wanna get the result. That's how people burn out. That's how you end up coming home every day, hating your job and kicking off your shoes and sighing and, oh, you know, today was, was, a, was a rough day, it was a long day. When you're working your passion every day, you're excited, you wake up, it's like, it's dope. I get to go to work, I get to go do something that I love to do. I'm about to cut some hair, oh, I'm gonna try this design, or, you know, I'm gonna go to the gym today, I'm gonna make 150 jump shots, or I'm feeling good today, my arm is good, I hope coach let me throw today. Um, it could be, you could be the C, you could be running operations for Tesla, and you could be wanting to start a new West Coast store in, in LA, and, you know, you might, you got to be passionate about that. You got to be motivated. You got to love it because when you love it, you hold value. When you hold value, you'll do different things. You'll be dedicated. You'll be committed. You'll do the extra, the extra reading that's necessary. You'll do the extra mile that you got to run um, when you're passionate about it. And then that stuff just turns into a paycheck. And, you know, I'm going to tell you how. Say I'm an artist and I paint and I, I'm, I'm passionate about my art. I'm passionate about my work. I'm passionate about the way I paint and what I do, right? So I'm going to have some value in what I'm painting. So when I'm done with that product, you're going to get a product that has so much care and so much value in it that it now, the, the monetary value is, is ridiculous. Some of these famous painters, their paintings are millions of dollars because of the value and the passion that they had for painting and the greatness that they had in their talent. 
you're not able to maximize your talent. You're not able to tap into your talent and pull out your true potential unless it's something that you're passionate about. If you don't like something, if I'm doing a job I don't really care about, I can be good at it and not like it. I'll never maximize my full potential because I'm not, I don't love it enough. I don't love it enough to really, really see how good I can be at it. That's why passion is important. Right. That's why that's why those paintings are worth millions and millions and millions of dollars, because they know that that person is a world renowned painter who was very, very passionate about painting and took their art form very seriously. And that's what you pay for. That's where the value comes in. So when you're passionate, you don't worry about getting written up at work. You don't worry about getting in trouble at work because you're you love what you do. You, you're locked in every day. You're going to have mistakes. You're going to have letdowns. Things aren't going to go the way that you thought they were going to go. But when you're passionate about what you're doing, it's worth it. Maximize your potential. Be the best at it. Find something you love to do. It makes it easy. It makes work easy. It makes working on it easy. It makes following it and chasing it easy. And the money's going to come. The money's going to be extra. I really wish we had more time. But if you guys reach out to me, um, my phone number, area code 559-558-6484. I don't mind if you have it, shoot me a text if you have any more questions. Um, the last thing I wanna say, I wanna give away um, something to, to, to two people, okay? The first one, I'm gonna give away $100 to the first person that can, three things, follow me, Steve the Barber, follow the Real Manhood 101 page, and then um, go to the Real Manhood 101 page or website and figure out what or text the white or do whatever you got to do. Figure out what was the title of the very first session that I um, taught at Real Manhood 101. And I'll give you guys a hint. This is year five and this is my fourth session. So um, that's question number one. Hundred dollars. I'll be giving the money away Sunday. Crispy hundred dollar bill away to the winner. Um, so make sure you guys DM me in a group with Steve the Barber, Real Manhood 101, and yourself. Answer to the trivia question. The second hundred dollars that I want to give away is I want to give a hundred dollars away to anyone who can take some of what I talked about today and apply that um, to your life. Send me a plan. Send me a note. Write me a letter on how you plan to apply passion over paychecks to your everyday life and to what you're doing now. How you plan to start to work into your passion. How you even plan to identify your passion if you don't know yet. And I'm going to read everybody's entries and I'm going to select the, the best um, story. The one I think is most fitting on um, Sunday. Um, that's my time for now. Uh, passion over paychecks. Always remember, chase the passion and the money will come. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please reach out.